Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a loading face effect like this in the Spark AR Studio and we will also add a function so we can turn it on and off with a screen tab. So let's start! Hey again, so let's create this loading face effect here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start creating the filter here in the Spark AR Studio, make sure you have downloaded all the assets we need for this filter. So for this, just go to the description of the video, click on the download link, and then you will end up here on this Dropbox site. Here, just click on download and download yeah, the folder. After you have downloaded the folder, just unzip it, and then you will find this folder in it with yeah, the patch we need and also the loading animation for this filter. So, after we have successfully downloaded all the files, we can start here creating the filter. So, the first thing is of course to import all the assets we have just downloaded to the Spark AR Studio. At first, we will import our patch. For this, just yeah, drag and drop the blankface.arp file to your assets bundle. The next step is to import our animation. For this, we have to create a new animation sequence. For this, just go to the assets bundle, click on the little plus and then select animation sequence. So now select the animation sequence you have just created. Go to the right hand side and here click at texture, choose file. So for this, new texture and here go to your folder you have just downloaded with all the pictures in it select it and then select all the pictures in the folder then click on open now spark ar will import all the yeah the the images as an animation sequence next we have created this texture with by importing the animation sequence just click on it go to the right hand side and make sure you set the compression to none Next, we also need a material for the animation sequence. So for this, we just go again to the assets panel, click on the little plus and here, um, yeah, create a new material. I will call this material loading. So now go to the right hand side, set the shader type to flat and yeah, select as texture the animation sequence. So the next thing is that we create a blank face for this. We go to our assets bundle, go to the patches and then drag and drop the plank face patch into the patch editor. So now we will see this patch here and now we need two additional components. The first thing is the face texture and also a material for our face. So to get the face texture we have to create a face tracker. After you have created the face tracker just select it in the scene bundle Go to the right hand side and here click on texture extraction to the little plus on the little plus next to it. So when you have done this you will find in your assets panel under textures the face tracker zero texture. Just drag and drop it into the patch editor and it will appear as a patch there. So now just connect the RGBA output of the face tracker texture with the face track uh, with the face texture input of the blank face patch. So now we also need an output a material. So go to the assets panel and and yeah create a new material. I will um, yeah name this material face. So again, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Now go to diffuse to texture and here click on the little arrow next to it. When you have done this, there should be a, a new patch in the patch editor. Now just connect the output of the blank face patch with the input of this diffuse texture patch. So now we need some objects in our scene yeah, to attach the materials to. At first I will create a face mesh. Then just drag and drop it into the face tracker and then go to the right hand side when you have selected the face mesh and select as material the face material. So now we see that the yeah, face is blank and then go up and here deselect eyes and mouth. So now eyes and mouth are gone. So I will take down my, put down my glasses so it is a better outcome. So. The next thing of course is this loading effect in the middle of the face. For this we need a new object in our scene. So go to the scene, add a new object and here we need a plane object. So after you have created this plane object it will be here in your scene but we will we need also it to follow the face. So for this just drag and drop the plane into the face tracker and make sure it is underneath your face mesh here in the face tracker. So like this and now you see it is also following the face movement. Now 
Um, yeah, select the plane object, go to the right hand side and here set as material the loading material. And now we will see also this loading spinning and in front of our faces, but yeah, it is in this black box and we want to get rid of this black box. For this, go to your assets bundle and select the loading material. Then go to the right hand side and here at the render options, you have to set the plant, uh, the plant mode from alpha to screen. And now you will see that the black box is gone and we will see just the yeah, loading wheel. So now we have successfully created the loading face effect here in this bug AR studio, but I will also add an interaction that we can turn off and on this effect by tapping on the screen. For this, I will go to the, my scene to the left hand side, then select the face mesh and the plane go to the right hand side and then click on the little arrow next to Visible. So now I have two new patches in my patch editor, the plane and the face mesh. And now I can work with those two um, yeah, properties. Now I need a screen tab patch and also a switch patch. So now I will connect the gesture state output of the screen tab with the flip input of the switch. The next is also that we need to not patches because we want that the effect starts when we start the filter. So for this we add a new patch, a not patch. Now here is the not patch, we just yeah, copy and paste this one so we have two of them. Now the on and off output of the switch goes into the signal input of both of the not patches and the output goes of course into the visible patches of the face mesh and also the plane and now when we go to our um, yeah, preview we select here simulate dutch and then when we tap on the screen we can turn off and on yeah, the loading face animation. I, I hope I could help you with this video if yes give it a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!